kind of the holy grail of modern forensics, okay, is to find fingerprints from bullet cases that have already been fired, mm -hmm. right? Because then you can tie a suspect to actually loading the gun rather right. than just possession of the firearm. That's actually that's an important distinction. Right? Yeah, yeah. The fingerprints are typically destroyed whenever a firearm discharges, right? Mm -hmm. Because you have stuff like 500 degrees Celsius, pressures of 50,000 pounds per square inch, uh, that will completely mess with the fingerprint that's on the outside. Right. Okay? So the recovery relies on some persistence of like a decomposition product that's on the outside, okay? And what this particular paper is focusing on is the carbonized ash so the theory of the case is there's no organic residue that will be left after the bullet is fired yeah. because it's just going to get burned yeah up. like the proteins the oils and the lipids it's gone but their hypothesis was there's going to be a little indicator yeah Steve there should something. be a little bit left mm -hmm. right and if there's even a little bit left there's a chance yeah you're, so, you're you're saying, yeah. so you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> exactly. And so and so that's that's what they're doing here. So you start with an electrochemical cell, which is a three-electrode setup. You take your brass casing, you put it in a chamber yes. with a bunch of electrolyte around it. Yes. So now what you can do is start turning on the voltage very gradually. Mm -hmm. Okay? You can keep that current at as low as possible so you, you don't make any other weird chemistry that's happening. That ash is going to be insulating compared to the metal. So the chemicals are going to get deposited on the metal, but leave holes where the ash is. This E. thionine method consistently yields grade three visualization. I didn't know this about fingerprints. With fingerprints, there's level one pattern, which is the fingerprint itself. The level two pattern is the detail on the ridges. Mm -hmm. And the level three pattern is within each of our ridges, there's little pores. That's crazy. Where the, the pattern of that pore is also unique okay. to each individual. Okay. So this current method actually lets you resolve those pores with these micro deposits, right? You've got, you've got a mechanism to now actually visualize those pores with those electrolyte contacts. And this is from the paper. You can see very clearly the oh pores and the ridges, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. this is at tens of microns of resolution. This thing takes less than one. 0.1 volts. So this could be handheld mm, you can have by yeah. the crime fighting units. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, they could, you could do it on site. You wouldn't necessarily have to send it to a lab. Yes. 